Welcome everyone to today's episode. This is the second installment of our coat color series and we will be discussing the cream dilution. So the cream dilution is best known for its palomino and buckskin colors. And it is what we call an incomplete dominant, meaning that one dominant allele will have a different effect than two alleles. So it can be either a single dilute or a double dilute. Now we will be going through our three base coat colors and discussing what effects this cream dilution has on it. Now first off we have the chestnut, so the red pigmented horse as we discussed in our last video. Now if we have a single dilute, so one cream gene, then we get what is known as a palomino. They can vary in color from a really pale light color palomino to a really rich golden color. They can be distinguished from flax and chestnuts in the fact that they're more on the um, yellow spectrum while um, chestnuts or flax and chestnuts still have the chestnut color so they're usually more on the reddish scale. And palominos also have of course a light mane and tail so cream colored, white colored. Now if we have a double dilute it turns our chestnut into a cremello. Now cremellos have an almost ivory um, near white coat. They usually have um, pink skin or pinkish hue around the muzzle and um, the soft parts of the horse. And they have a really light mane and tail again, almost white. Now let's focus on the bay. So if we have a single dilution, then it turns the bay into a buckskin. Now the thing about the cream dilution is it actually has a hard time diluting black pigments. So that's why it turns a bay into a buckskin because it can alter the body, so the brown parts of the horse, without any problem turning it in this yellowish color, so diluting it. But it has trouble with black pigments, so that's why the mane and tail and um, the points of the horse, so legs, usually stay black. Now an easy way to distinguish a buckskin from a dun is actually just look at their back. If it has a dorsal stripe, it is a dun, and if it doesn't have that stripe on its back, then it is a buckskin. Now a bay with a double dilution is called a perlino. Perlinos look very similar to cremellos, however, they can be slightly noticed by pigments, more of a pinkish pigment on their legs and tail and mane, because that's where originally the black um, colors were. And as we know, it has a hard time diluting black colors, so that's why there's always usually a little bit of rest color um, on their legs, mane and tail. Now, a black horse is the most tricky for the cream dilution. A single dilution, it just turns into a smoky black. So basically just a lighter version of a black horse. And sometimes it can have highlights in its mane. Now a double dilution is called a smoky cream. Now, I haven't been able to find that in Star Stable. However, it just looks pretty similar to the Perlino, a little darker. Also the mane and tail, because like I said, the cream gene always has trouble with um, the black coloring. Now recently, scientists have also discovered um, an additional thing that is linked to it. It's called the bar link factor or the pearl color. And a single one has no effect, but um, combined with a dominant cream allele, it will actually enhance the color and um, create an even lighter pearl-like effect. So these horses really do look like pearls. So I think that's a very good description. Chestnuts, it can turn into a color that's called, um, some call apricot. So more of a, yeah, apricot, orangish hue color. 
and bays and blacks are just called pearl colored horses. They are most commonly found in Iberian horses, so um, Lusitanos and Andalusians. And we also have one in our own Fort Pinta. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for our next video. Bye.